Um, this is our org chart, and this is going to develop, but this is how we see it. A little different than typical org charts where you see uh, the pyramid and you see those top you know, power players on top, and they kind of control the organization. We don't like that model. We think the model looks better inverted, where you uh, communicate and articulate your priorities to us, and we develop programs and priorities around your priorities. So that's what you see right here. Uh, member committees, you know, in order for us to be effective, we're going to have a lot of projects, a lot of opportunities. It's going to be difficult for the, the main board to focus on those as a board. So we're going to need some committees to manage that piece. The EI staff, well, you're looking at it right now. <laughs> um, uh, there's, we're all volunteers here. Um, but the hope is, you know, as the organization grows and prospers, there'll be an opportunity for uh, us to hire some staff. Um, we, uh, board, yeah, we'll skip through this. You guys have met the board. These bios are not necessary. But if you want to have some information on any of the board members, please tell, please, please let me know, and I'll be sure to forward that information to you. Uh, upon the conclusion of this meeting, we're going to be having a board meeting in a couple weeks and combining all of our information together. And we'll create a PDF of this PowerPoint and send it off to all of you so you can have this information on, on the organization. Because people are going to be asking you, you know, who is EIW? What are these guys up to? We'd like you to have some information. Membership. Well, we're, uh, EIW is a membership-based organization, as you just saw by our org chart. And the basis and the terms of the membership will be determined by the membership committee. Hey, guess what? <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. Let's have membership committee determine what, the, what their priorities are for our membership. What skill sets do we need to have of our members? If we're, since our focus is around construction, we need to make sure that we have a diverse group of uh, professionals that are providing these services so we can be well-rounded. Next slide. Some of the expected benefits of our membership. These are just a few. Expand the small business capacity through comprehensive training and coaching provided by experienced and knowledgeable business executives and training experts as coaches. Assist small businesses in the preparation to market their businesses and engage decision makers with confidence. Collaborate with, collaborate with like-minded organizations that have a small business membership or uh, have small business inclusion objectives. And you see some of those organizations that we plan to work with. Uh, you don't see DBIA there, but they, they will be added to that. <laughs> Promote inclusion of small businesses with government, large businesses, and labor organizations. We have a lot of uh, prime contractors that have expressed some interest. And Roger made time out of his busy schedule to be here today. And I'm real pleased to, to have him here. And it makes sense for us. We can't do this by ourselves. We have to have stakeholders uh, on all sides be, be a part of this process. Sponsors. Hey, this is where the money comes in. Uh, sponsors are those individuals with businesses, public agencies, et cetera, that recognize that the value of developing a small, resilient base of small businesses is a worthwhile investment. Sponsors will support EIW and our agenda with financial and in-kind contributions and membership sponsorship. Benefits of the sponsors, uh, active participation in improving the economy and job creation, because that's what we do. Access to strong businesses and subcontractors and partners and the owners and developers and public agencies that our small businesses serve. Ability to develop long-term relationships with small businesses to easily meet public goals and corporate commitments. And ability to facilitate forums like this. Uh, survey membership and participate in training and project contract specific outreach activities. And by the way, what do you think of this place? Isn't this great to have a, a center like this that we can actually hear each other and have this great uh, technology to be able to illustrate our information? These are what our internal priorities are. Mm -hmm. On the left hand side, you see the advisory board recruitment. So we need to start matching the organization with those, those folks that can bring some value, immediate value to the organization. We need to identify more subject matter experts that can bring value to our organization and our members. 
We need to identify good leaders that can be chairs of these committees. We need to formalize a board and staff um, and committee descriptions, duties, and responsibility. All that governance stuff that you know a lot of our small organizations haven't had in the past. We don't want that to be. We want to take best practices. We want to formalize member and sponsorship uh, recruitment packages. What you see right now is kind of the start of that process. But again, we want to get that information from, from you. On the second document that you'll see there is actually an agreement. It's kind of like our commandments. We want our members to, to act in a manner that's becoming of this organization. We want folks to respect each other's opinions and contributions. We don't want to be one of those organizations that are throwing rocks at our members or shooting bullets. So what you'll see is uh, uh, some sample language in there and what we are expectations of our membership is. Uh, on our external priorities, uh, WASDOT has a small business initiative. EIW is in a, a great position to be able to provide some services and respond to that piece. And the legislation, uh, legislative session presents some opportunities and some obstacles for some of our small businesses. And we want to bring awareness around those issues that are important to your business. Uh, Robin's come here from DBIA. They're working on some design-build legislation. Some of you have heard about the introduction of design-build, operate, maintain language. Some of you are getting more familiar with GCCM uh, building as well as job order contracting. All these alternative works, all these contracting mechanisms, we need to be educated around, and we need to know how our businesses fit into there. 